Hi there. So I wanted to share with you in this video some of the after Christmas sales. If you didn't know, they're still going on. Um, some of the stores are already done with it, but I did want to share with you that if you have a Dollar General near you, go take a look. You can find lots of things. And I wanted to share with you some of the stuff that I got at mine. Now, in a previous video, I had another Dollar General haul. So if you want to, go take a look. Check it out. But you can save a lot of money. So for me, I'm a wreath maker. So a lot of the stuff I look for is stuff that I could use for wreaths or gift baskets. I'm a crafter. And I was really happy to find this. I found this deco mesh. And normally it's $5. With everything being 70% off, I got it for $1.50. And I make wreaths, so mesh comes in handy. So when I went to the store, they had a lot of mesh left. So I got two of the red and white. I got this bread, which you can use for Valentine's if you make Valentine's wreaths. That's $1.50. And they had three rolls of this red and green. So I'll use that next year for Christmas. And this is another color you can use for Valentine's Day, but it has the burlap and the red. So I got two of those as well. So all together I got nine rolls of deco mesh and they were $1.50 each. Now also I got some really pretty ribbon. They had these rolls for $3. I got them for $0.90. Cent. But that's like, what is that? Five inches. Five inch roll and it kind of looks like tulle to me. But it's actually a ribbon. And it's nice material so that was $0.90. Cent. And I got two of those. I found a little red truck, which, you know, I love. And it's so popular right now. But I got two of those rolls, and those were $0.90 cent a piece. I'll use those next year for my Christmas wreaths and baskets. And they had this snowflake, and it's kind of like a burlap material. But this is really good um, ribbon. And anybody that deals with ribbon, they know that you can get some really thin... You know junk ribbon but this stuff is nice quality and those were all 90 cent a piece and this is like a light colored like burlap type with the little gold sparkles and they had this buffalo plaid and that was two dollars a roll so i got that for 60 cent a piece Then I got this red, which I can use for Valentine's Day. So anytime that you have an after Christmas sale and you do anything for Valentine's Day, keep in mind all the red stuff you could use for Valentine's Day. And there's a little one and a half inch Merry Christmas ribbon. That was a dollar, so I got it for 30 cents. This is gold, $2, so that was $0.60 cent for that roll. And gold is universal. You can use it for anything. And I got this candy cane ribbon, $2, cent. And I got another one of the gold ones. So I really scored when it came to all that because anybody that buys ribbon or mesh, they know how expensive it can be. So anytime you find it on sale, even if you can't use it for a while, it's still a really good find. Now, I also got these little snowman picks. And those, you could pull the stick off, put it on a wreath. I make floral arrangements as well, so I could use it for either one. Or you could even make it as a cute little addition to a gift basket, if you make gift baskets. But those were a dollar a piece, and I got them for $0.30 cent each. They're all a little bit different. They had that ho 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 Santa pick for a dollar. I got it for 30 cents. The little red truck pick. And they're like little wood pieces, so those are really nice for 30 cents. And even if you go to a Dollar Tree, you're going to have to spend a dollar. So when you get it for 30 cents, it's a steal. There's these little door doorknob bells. 
They were normally $2. I got them for $0.60. Cent. I just like bells, so I'll probably take the bells off and repurpose them, but that normally goes on a doorknob. These cute little tin cans, which were normally a dollar, got it for $0.30. Cent. Nice for putting candy in. But all this stuff, like I said, you can't use it till next year, but it's still worth it because you save a lot of money. So if you're looking for decorations for your house, get them now. I know there's not a lot of sales going on. Like I was telling you, if you go to your Dollar Generals, you're going to find a lot of stuff still. You might have to go to a couple of them, but they're going to have gift wrap. They're going to have bags. They're going to have gift boxes. They're still going to have some pajamas, mugs. Just really depends on what you're looking for. Now I got these little cute snowman hat. They were normally $3. I got them for $0.90. Cent. Now I'm going to use that for the Christmas craft. I don't know which one, but I'll figure it out. And I got more of these, which are the little campers. They'll probably put on wreaths. Normally $3. I got them for $0.90. Cent. I got a couple packs of those. But... For $0.90 cent and you got three of them, it's a perfect thing if you want to do a simple wreath and put a few of those on there. It's going to look really pretty. The same thing I'm going to do with these. Little tree farm barn houses, and those were $0.90 cent a piece. But they're nice, thick ornaments, you know, and they're really pretty. They don't look cheap. And I got the red barn house. And that's actually what I have in my bathroom right now. They have a barn house with the red truck. So that would actually look really pretty in there if I had a decoration and I added that to it. And then last but not least, I got this little tree. That was a cool little find, you know. It has a nice little base. And, you know, it has to be pulled out and separated, but... This is a little bigger than the little mini trees that I do. And if you want to go back and look at the mini trees I do for Christmas, in the future I'm going to do DIYs on those and how I do them. But this one is about twice the size. And I got it for $6. Um, actually, I got it for $1.80, but it's normally $6. So I will make another mini tree out of this in the future. But for a buck eighty, it's, you know, probably almost two feet tall cute little tree so you can watch my previous video where I did my other Dollar General haul I got a few other items this one I mainly got stuff for my wreaths but if you get to your stores you can still find stuff trust me um, you will find things at Dollar General a lot of times people don't think about going into Dollar General or Family Dollar but around this time, everything's 70% off. If you wait another few days or a week, it will probably go down to 90% off. And now Dollar General and Family Dollar both do this sale where they go from 70 to 90. And if you look in between seasons, you can always find the stuff really cheap. If you're a crafter, if you wanna buy things for you know the seasons coming up at a really good price, when everything is 90% off, you get it for $0.10, cent, $0.30, cent, $0.50. Cent. You could save a lot of money. So, I did do another small little Walgreens haul. And I wanted to share that with you guys as well. Now, you may or may not find things at your local Walgreens right now. Things went from 70% off on Thursday to 80% off. Now, normally it goes from 70 to 90. I don't know if they're doing that this year, but they did have a lot of toys on sale. And let me tell you, if you're looking for a wrapping paper, gift wrap, gift bags, tags, now is the time to get that because you get it for pennies. So if something's $6, you could get it for, you know, $1.20. If they go down to 90%, you'll get it for, you know, 60 cents. So keep your eyes open for that. You know, if you're going to Walgreens, always go and check out the holiday aisle. And another little thing is in the back, 
at different times of the year, they always got clearance toys, medicines, hair products, um, gloves, slippers. They always got that little aisle in the back. So never, you know, go through there and don't check out the little sale items. But anyway, I did a previous Walgreens video where they had everything 70% off. I bought toys, which, like I said in my last video, you could use them for Easter or gifts in the future, whatever. If you have little kids and you just want toys for them, that's the time to buy. So when I went to this Walgreens, I ended up, they had all of these toys that are marked at $6.99, and I got them for $1.39. They had, you know, a lot of sales, like some stuff is marked down 70, 80% off. I'm sure it's going to go to 90 or maybe it won't this year, but either way, some of them mark down things a little bit differently. This was $1.39, all the toys were at this Walgreens, so... Walgreens is one of the stores you may or may not be able to find some items still, but go check them out. This was also $6.99. It's a little mini rattle. Now, like I told you, I make Easter baskets, so after Christmas when they have all these sales, that's when I get all of my Easter toys. Or the other time is after summer, when it's heading into fall, that's when you hit up your Walgreens and get all your toys. So keep that in mind. Now I did find the Nightmare Before Christmas. I never seen these before, but they're two little cars. And they got the Jack Skellington and I forgot what that green guy was called. But yeah, they have the, the two pack that are normally... What was that? $6.99 and I got those for $1.39. And you can't even go to a dollar store and get that for $1.39. Goodbye. And you know, Walgreens has a lot of characters. So if your kids are into different characters, cartoon characters, Walgreens has a lot of those type of things. So I got two of those. Now I had these in my previous video and I think I spent a little more money that time. Um, let's see, they were $6. I think I paid $1.80. This time I got them for $1.39. So I did buy two more of those troll glasses. And this is something I'll put in my Easter basket. So, really cool item. And trolls are really popular. So, now they have these little diaries. And once again, $6.99. I got it for $1.39. And it's got the little water sparkle thing. But those will be another cute Easter basket item. Now I was still able to get some M&Ms and Hershey Kisses like a buck fifty. Um, they have candy. They have wrapping paper. They have toys. Um, my suggestion to you is go to your local Dollar General. If you have more than one near you. Hit up a couple. It's not too late. Walgreens might or might not have stuff, but you can always check them out. Walgreens and Target are, you know, they usually wipe out early on. Same thing with Hobby Lobby. But I am going to give you guys a little tip. Um, Michaels will be having their grab bags more than likely on Monday. So you make sure first thing you hit up those micro grab bags first thing Monday morning. Um, they used to be $4, now they're $5 a box or a bag or however your local store does it. But hey, as a little tip that, um, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I may not have started doing videos, but I've always been a gift basket maker. So I always hit up the after sales and I watch for everything and your local Michael sales will be going on on Monday, so make sure you get out there. Um, and just one little more addition to this video. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of what I do. I am a crafter, so I make wreaths and gift baskets and other decor and candles and whatever. But I wanted to show you a couple of my Valentine's Day gifts and items. Now, 
This is a little bouquet that I made for Valentine's Day, and it has love pics in there. And I got those at the Dollar Tree. And I got this big heart that I got at Walmart. I think it was a two-pack for $2. Now, the poinsettia I got at Michael's at the after sale last year. And you can always repurpose things. If you go to your Michael's after sale and you get poinsettias, keep in mind, you can do something like this. Um, it's still winter, so the poinsettia is still nice addition. I wrap mine up. This is just one of the little gifts that I make. And the other thing I was going to share is my Valentine tree. Now, I make a lot of these for Christmas. But I did make a Valentine's Day tree. And I wanted to share that with you guys. And in the future, I will share some DIYs on my trees, wreaths, baskets. Um, always a bargain shopper. I'm going to share the deals. So, you know, if you're a crafter like me or a bargain shopper and you like to save money, just, you know, Make sure you keep watching, and in the future, I'll have more videos of sales that I come across and DIY videos. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and post up um, some of the items that I made for Christmas this year. And a lot of the items I got from Michael's grab bags last year. So I do like to show you guys some of the things you could do to repurpose some of the deals and sales that you get. And also, I'll be showing you my Valentine gift baskets, um, my Easter baskets, I make Mother's Day baskets, so I will share all of that with you in the future. I thank you for watching, and if you like what you're seeing, subscribe, like my page, and I will have more DIYs and bargain shopping and all types of things. So, um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.